Rafflesia arnoldi is a species of flowering plant in the parasitic genus of Rafflesia. It is noted for producing the largest individual flower on earth and is known for its strong and unpleasant odor of decaying flesh. It is native to the rainforests of Sumatra and Borneo. Although Rafflesia is a vascular plant, it lacks any observable leaves, stems, or even roots, and does not have any chlorophyll. The only part of Rafflesia that is identifiable as distinctly plant-like are the flowers, though even these are unusual due to their size, reddish-brown coloration, and the odor of rotting flesh which they produce. The flower of Rafflesia arnoldi grows to a diameter of around 1 meter and can weigh up to 14 kilograms. These flowers emerge from a very large cabbage-like maroon or dark brown bud typically about 30 centimeters wide. It is found not far from water and between 490 to 1024 meters in altitude. It lives as a hollow parasite on the vines of the genus Tetrastigma. Hollow parasite means that it needs a host plant to complete its full life cycle. Similar to a fungi, individuals grow as a mass of thread-like strands of tissue completely embedded within and in intimate contact with surrounding host cells, from which nutrients and water are obtained. It can only be seen outside the host plant when it is ready to reproduce. The buds take many months to develop, and the flower lasts for just a few days. When Rafflesia is ready to reproduce, a tiny bud forms outside the root or stem of its host and develops over the period of a year. The cabbage-like head that develops eventually opens to reveal the flower. The stigmas or stamens are attached to a spiked disc inside the flower. Stigmas if the flower is female and stamen if it is male. A foul smell of rotting meat attracts flies and beetles to the flower. To pollinate successfully, the insects must first visit the male flower to collect pollen from the stamen, then fly over to the female flower to deposit that pollen into the stigma. The fruit produced are round berries filled with numerous tiny seeds. Though flowers of the genus Rafflesia had already been discovered, it was British surgeon Joseph Arnold in 1818 who collected the first known specimen of what is now called Rafflesia arnoldi. Arnold contracted a fever and died soon after the discovery, but the preserved material was passed on to Robert Brown. William Jack, Arnold's successor in Sumatra, recollected the plant and was the first to officially describe the new species under the name R. Titan in 1820. Jack rushed the name to publication. Apparently aware of Jack's work, Brown finally had an article published a year later, formally introducing the name R. Arnoldi. He ignores Jack's work in his article. Because Jack's name has priority, R. Arnoldi should technically be a synonym for R. Titan. But at least in Britain, it was common at the time to recognize the names introduced by well-regarded scientists such as Brown, though taxonomically, R. Titan should be the correct name. Ecotourism is thought to be the main threat to the species. At locations which are regularly visited by tourists, the number of flower buds produced per year has decreased. In 2003, a web page for a class project of two American students incorrectly stated that the local Malay name translated to corpse flower. A month later, this sentence was copied to the Wikipedia page of the genus Rafflesia. Corpse flower, however, was actually the name of Amorphophallus titanum. By 2010, the incorrect sentence had come to claim that the English name was now corpse flower. By 2020, this name has been incorrectly cited numerous times in news articles and the like. 